I'm Mitchell, and this is Tekkit. This is my uh, Milk Farm EMC generator. Uh, this is just a setup one right here. This is the tutorial for it. First, you need filters. You make the filter with three cobblestone on top, a gold ingot middle left, piston in the middle, gold another gold ingot on the right, and then red doped wafers, which you get through an alloy furnace, silicon wafers, and redstone. Not going to go into all that. You guys can figure that out. And then that makes eight filters. You need eight. Um, I don't know why I have eight of those. You'll need four deployers. Cobblestone, redstone, piston, chest, more cobblestone. You need, uh, I don't know, about a stack of pneumatic tubes. I guess you'll see at the end of this video. They're made with brass and glass. Brass is just an alloy furnace. One tin, three copper. Pretty standard stuff. You're going to need five more of those pneumatic tubes because they're used in the recipe for the redstone tube, which is just redstone on top of a pneumatic tube. A timer, and that's the most, not expensive thing in the slightest, but it's definitely the most irritating thing to make. You make it with stone wafers, which are made through smelting, like, stone. Uh, you put, you need a stone wire, and you put uh, redstone on top of a stone wafer. You need three of those. You need a pointer, which is another wafer, redstone torch, and then stone on top of that. Anode, four redstone, three wafers. It makes three of them, so you only need to make one of those, because you only need two of them in the recipe. And then a cathode, which is just a redstone torch on top of a stone wafer. I'm just going to disable this one, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that was definitely what was causing the lag. Oh, no, it wasn't. And then you need iron ingots, a lot of them to make a lot of buckets. You need eight... 16, 24, 32, 4 more is 36, bottom 4 is, you need 40 buckets, I'm just gonna cheat and get some, whoops, get some buckets, and then you need 6 covers, I just have a diamond handsaw in there because, um, I didn't show you this, but for the red doped wafer, you need, I hate when I do that, you need a silicone wafer and the only way to cut a silicone wafer from this bool thing is with a diamond handsaw so while you have the diamond handsaw why not just use it to cut the cobblestone you have to cut it a bunch of times like that to get the cov cobblestone covers energy condenser which is made out of an alchemical chest four diamonds four obsidian you need two of these uh yeah i did grab the covers you need just some crap blocks and you need a way of getting a cow. Um, generally, you can just grab one and just drag it to you with some wheat. But in case you can't, I'm going to show you that way. If you're like in a cave or something. Now, you might need a screwdriver if you're placing these in a different order than the way that I am. Because the way that I make them, they face the correct way by default. So... You place down four of your eight filters, yeah, those are filters, then one of your two energy condensers, and grab your pneumatic tubes, and make this four high. Oh, we'll get to that one later. But, so I'll just, I guess, right now, just make them three high, if you're following along with me. And then put down, you need to be shift clicking because this won't, because you'll just open up the like inventory screen otherwise. I definitely forgot to take my insulated wires. Did I not? Yeah, I didn't put down a sign for insulated wires. So, or not insulated wires, jacketed wires, there's a difference. So, these are made by a cobblestone cover all around a red, I'm pretty sure I put those down somewhere. I did. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I think I missed that. These are made with cobblestone covers, which you need to make by the handsaw. And then a red alloy ingot. I don't know if I told you how to make these. It's just an alloy furnace, again, for redstone and an iron ingot or copper ingot. And apparently there's like 70 ways to make this because of all of the different types of them. I'm just using cobblestone because there's no need to waste stuff on making this. This is meant to be a productive thing, so be productive. Then you need to use four more of your 
filters, placing them like this, shift clicking again, or else you open up the G GUI, I think that's, pr I'm pretty sure that's called, and then now we can add on this, I don't think I'm, yeah, I'm not missing anything, okay, and then you're gonna start using your covers, make sure that you're placing it like that, well, I forgot to shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, and then your last two, you need to pick a side, any side, I just like doing this one, I guess, I don't know why, no reason, then, uh, you grab your insulated wires, you can just build up with them like that, go for high, just doing all of those, uh, put this down, don't want to put your timer down yet, I guess you probably could, but you want to make sure that it's at 4.400 seconds, so it's going pretty fast there. I'm not going to put it down yet because it might cause some lag. I don't know. Even if it doesn't, still, just I'm not going to do it yet. And then place this out of here and into your other chest. Now, this one's going to be whatever you're trying to make with this. So it's not amazingly fast, but this is kind of meant for early on in the game. So I'm just going to put diamonds there. I mean, still, like, really useful and all that, but not, like, extremely expensive as opposed to, like, red matter or something like that. And then, now we have to get the cow into here. This may take a while if it's being a difficult cow, which sometimes they are, you'll see what I mean. Then, I will probably just, uh, like, skip to where I'm done, but the general idea of this is you can take this chicken, hit B on it with this thing and change it into a different animal which yep there we go there we go now we've got a cow make it follow us with the wheat and the reason I had glowstone is because it takes up glowstone when it changes the animal and then you kinda like guide it in switch to the cobblestone push it into the hole hopefully don't let it fall yep okay way to be annoying cow and try again just my general like aim is to just kind of like make him like start to follow me so he can't like vary too much and then push him in while like pretty much r right clicking the entire time i uh if i can't get him in here pretty soon i'm just gonna like grab a spawn egg but yeah sometimes they're really annoying that's why if you're making a lot of these yep see he was in there for a second go back in there yep there we go okay no need to go into anything else and so you have to put the block above his head so he can't get out he can't like jump out of there or anything and you can get rid of your little staircase up no real reason to you can probably just leave it there and last but not least you need a lot of buckets so I'm just gonna put eight buckets in there eight buckets in this deployer and just put eight buckets in all of the deployers like I'm doing here Whoop. there we go get my buckets back bam eight buckets in all of these then oh that was not meant to be doing that you just you need to uh spread these buckets out I guess I probably should have left my staircase there whatever milk your cow don't slip off the edge yeah I just realized I'm in creative mode and so I could just flew up there just put your milk buckets in your filters like that and put the bottom filters, normal buckets, and the last ones right there. Now this is very important. Put a bucket in there, and then I know this might seem kind of crazy, but put like something that's around the worth of one diamond block in there. That's pretty much like the standard. It might be a bit expensive, but then you put down your timer. and make sure that it's at 400 seconds is 0.400 seconds is pretty good 0.4 of a second or whatever 
and it'll milk the cow with the deployers. The filter will take the milk out, send it down into here, and then because a milk bucket is worth more than a normal bucket, it'll make more normal buckets filling this up, and once it gets filled up in here, then it'll start getting on a normal schedule. It started like going crazy because of all of the other stuff that is in there. And then once it gets excess stuff that's in there, yep, see, then it starts sending milk buckets into here. Now, one milk bucket is quite a bit of EMC. As you can see, it's like 900 or so. So it doesn't take too long to, until you get some diamonds. I'd say it's a diamond every 30 or 40 seconds, I think. I mean, I think if I make this less, then it'll go f even faster. But... I don't know. I like to keep it around 400. And there you go. That's your diamond generator milk farm thing. And then another thing you can do is you can build another one like this. Get rid of that. Connect these two. And then because there's nowhere else for these diamonds to go. you'll have two of them connected up to one chest and then you can just kinda do this a bunch I on my single player world if you guys wanna see it later or something like that I put some build craft pipes I got redstone pieces or redstone engines just put some uh, redstone torches next to them and just power them and a teleporter pipe and I have like ten sets of two all hooked up and they just teleport it into one of these and it makes red matter so as you can see I already have eleven diamonds from this so that's your diamond block back and that like last couple of diamond is like pretty much all of your everything else in this I mean you can using one of these if I mean if you have enough resources to make this then you have enough resources to have another one of these tables and you can make more copper tin and all of that good stuff to make a bunch of these it's just how many do you really need. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.